Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to week four of the September 2022 Cloud Resume Challenge Sprint. This is the final week of the sprint, and before we dive into the requirements and the implementation, I want to take a moment and send a shout out to Forrest Brazil, who created the Cloud Resume Challenge, and not only for creating the challenge itself, but for also spinning up the related Discord server and fostering a community of like-minded individuals all working toward the common goal of advancing their cloud skills. I also want to send a shout out to Lou over at Open Up the Cloud. His site and related YouTube channel provide a wealth of information on the cloud industry. I'll put a link to his site in the description below, and I highly recommend you jump on over there and check him out. Now, regarding the requirements for the final week of the challenge, this week, we were to implement our infrastructure as code using the AWS serverless application model and its CLI. If you've been following my progress over the last few weeks, you'll recall that I started building my infrastructure using SAM early on and have continued to do so throughout the challenge. We were also to build a CI-CD pipeline using GitHub Actions. I got a bit of a head start on this last week and created the YAML templates and the GitHub Actions to run automated tests against my Lambda service Python code on push to the project's GitHub repo. In last week's video, I did a walkthrough of the test script I wrote to test the Lambda function, so I won't cover that here. However, I did mention that I would discuss the AWS access key ID and secret access key environment variables I created in the GitHub repo, which are required for both the test script and GitHub actions. To set the environment variables, first click on settings in the repo, and then under security, click secrets, and then actions. And here you could create new repository secrets. So the first secret I want to create is for the AWS access key ID. So I'll copy this, jump back over to the repo, and paste it in. Then I'll paste in the secret access key ID and add the secret. Then I'll add another one, this time for secret access key, and paste that in as well. And I'll be deleting these after I complete the video. And now I have my repository secrets created. To create the GitHub action script, first you create a .github folder in the root of your project's repo, then a workflows folder inside of the .github folder. And here I've created a main.yaml file which has three jobs. A job to test the infrastructure template, which will change directory into the test folder and run the test handler Python test script against the template YAML file. The build and deploy infrastructure job is dependent upon successful completion of the test infrastructure job. This will run a SAM build and SAM deploy inside of the CRC folder which contains a template YAML file for the infrastructure. And finally, the deploy site job will deploy the code for the front end to the S3 bucket. Now with the files in place, I can push them to the GitHub repo. Then jump into the actions, and we see our workflow is started. Now the test infra is complete. And now the build and deploy infrastructure and deploy site jobs have completed successfully as well. So that concludes the implementation for the final week of the sprint. If you're interested in doing the challenge or participating in a sprint, head on over to the Cloud Resume Challenge site and give it a read through. And I highly recommend purchasing the book. It has a ton of information and will surely get you excited about doing the challenge. Finally, I hope you've enjoyed following along as I went through the sprint. If you have any related questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below as I'd be happy to discuss. With that, I hope to see you in the cloud.